super cool. Um, let's see, let me open the chat here. Hey, hey. Okay, so this is the Detox Your Home class, guys. I'm super excited. If you have a look at this continuing education card, um, you'll see that we have made it through one full rotation. Um, and, you know, don't worry, they don't really go in order. Like, you can pop in and out at any time. But um, this is going to be the first full rotation that I have completed as teaching, which is super cool. And this is Detox Your Home. So what happens, guys, is when you complete all of the continuing ed, then you will be getting a, um, a prize and a thank you. So a thank you prize, an excited thank you prize from your team. So what you want to do is you want to take maybe a screenshot of this. And, you know, today's date is April, what's the date, 8th? And then you want to put my name um, as your trainer. And so these are the product classes. And there's also four um, business education classes. So if you want to learn how to do what I do, maybe supplement your income or even begin to replace your income, if you want to learn the basics of that, then right after each product class, we go through one of um, the joy of learning, or joy of sharing essential oils classes. So today we are back at this um, B1 class getting started. And so we're gonna go through the step-by-step -step on how to get started building a really effective organization with doTERRA. Um, okay, so that explains the continuing education card, card today, guys. We're talking about cleaning with essential oils. And you know, for some, cleaning is really cathartic. Like my husband and I differ, like he likes clean surfaces like he'll just open a drawer and like put everything in and i go around with the toothbrush like that's how i love to clean um but for others you know it's a chore so no matter how you feel about it cleaning is an unavoidable part of life especially if you want to keep you and your family healthy and safe so having a clean environment is an important part of a healthy lifestyle and that's what we're all about guys right we're just looking at elements of our lifestyles and trying to maximize them and making the best out of them. Um, and having that clean environment can help protect the body from certain health issues as well. So whether or not you like to clean, right, it is much easier to keep a clean house when you have useful and effective cleaning agents and safe ones. Now, while you may be used to the fact that people use essential oils, maybe for health and wellness, you may not realize that our oils can also be extremely useful and so fun for cleaning. Like I just, I love cleaning with our oils. With natural cleansing properties, our oils provide a simple yet really powerful way to keep things clean, which is what we're going for here. So we're gonna start, um, let me toggle around here for a minute. We're gonna start with a video because it's important first to understand the dangers that we face if we choose to not clean with our essential oil. So we have a four minute clip here that we'll watch together. probably heard warnings about mercury levels in fish, the pollutants in our air and water, the planet Earth, and hidden dangers that exist just about anywhere we go. They're found in almost everything we eat, everything we drink, in the air. But what exactly are those toxins doing to our health? It really makes you stop and think, what's this all about? What exactly are all these toxins you hear about? What are they doing to your health? that every five years, 10,000 new chemicals are in the marketplace that weren't here five years ago. There's no such thing as a pristine environment. It's toxins are in the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we eat. So if you decide to actually breathe today, you're gonna to be exposed to toxins, especially volatile organic compounds. So if you decide to drink the water, you're gonna be exposed to heavy metals. And if you decide to eat food anytime soon, 
well, you're going to get toxins there as well, especially in processed food or food that's been chemically altered. There's a tipping point in your body above which the accumulation of these toxins begins to interpret into disease. The Environmental Protection Agency sets limits for certain amounts of heavy metals and organic compounds that are allowed in the water because they look at each one of those compounds separately. They'll say this amount of mercury is safe or this amount of lead is safe. But the fact is the whole is much greater than the sum of the parts. If you take what is normally a, say, 1% concentration of, uh, of lead, which normally would not hurt a rat, and introduce another 1% concentration of mercury, which normally would not hurt a rat by itself, if you introduce them together, that will now kill the rat. How it affects adults, how these toxins in the blood affect adults, probably the most identifiable thing is development of high blood pressure, development of kidney failure, Development of Alzheimer's, right development of various cancers and immune deficiencies. It affects our, our metabolic systems, it affects our endocrine systems. It can cause things like chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, autoimmune diseases have been linked to toxins. These are the exposures that are part of the what we call invisible killers. Yeah, we don't see them. You know, it's real easy to take care of somebody in Japan when they spilled all that mercury and people ate the fish. The people that got acutely ill, ran high temperatures, dropped their blood pressures, required life support, they were easy to identify. The people who developed Alzheimer's earlier than they should have, that's the invisible group. We don't see that group. They just become a statistic that we talk about later. Toxins don't know anything about political or national boundaries. They go wherever the wet air flows, wherever the water flows, anywhere that is accessible. And that's anywhere on the planet. Right now, there's over 1,400 metric tons of particular toxins traveling in the jet stream. Right now, 1,450-some metric tons. It's everywhere. Welcome to our world. So again, this is not to scare us, um, but it is to show us the seriousness of, of what we face in our world. And what I love and how I teach my kids um, is I love explaining to them that there are things that are outside of our control and there are things that are within our control and we want to focus on the things that are within our control, right? And so in order to do that, looking at the, at the cleaning materials that we're putting into our home is super important. Um, so to do that, I wanna share just a couple extra things, right? Um, if we choose to use the chemical products, um, we're actually putting a lot of hazardous things in the air, toxic things, carcinogenic chemicals. Carcinogenic means cancer causing. And I like in the video how they say it's not, um, it's not any one item, one product that's going to be the problem, right? It's going to be the accumulation over time of the things that we, um, the products that we use for our hair, our skin, our clothes, um, the flame retardants in the materials that we have or in our bedding. All of that adds up to what they call the tipping point, right? And the tipping point is the point where the toxic load on our body is just too much for our body to bear. And then you have those, um, some of those diseases that they talked about. Um, and I am living proof, my friends, because I have an autoimmune called Hashimoto's and um, it's caused by a lot of things, but stress and toxicity and viral load are three of the major things. So I know this all too well. Also, when we clean with chemical products, we have these floating particles that get inhaled right through our, um, through our lungs and then go into our bloodstream. This is exactly why um, we don't even wanna put poor quality essential oils in a diffuser, because when we do that, again, we think, oh, well, they're not touching our skin, but they are actually coming and being a part of our body through that system, through breathing and then getting them into our bloodstream. And we're actually giving chemicals to all of the body cells and to our brains. And this is where um, there's a lot of research out there on Alzheimer's and just like the video said about early onset, is caused by um, primarily, I think it's mercury, and there's one more, lead maybe, in the brain, two, two high levels that our bodies can't get rid of. 
Um, and in terms of poisonings, this is really interesting. More than 90% of poisonings happen at home. And what tops the list of those poisonings are the medicines, household cleaners, and pesticides, which is really interesting because I had to call um, US Poison Control like maybe two months ago because my husband and I both gave our daughter the same dose of um, a blood thinner. So she had surgery in December and she's on warfarin and warfarin is a heavy duty blood thinner. Um, and they're little blue pills that look exactly like candy. So our doctor's always like, get those high, get those out of reach. And of course, Ron and I had a little miscommunication half, a little mishap, and we both gave it to her. And so you guys should know that you can call U.S. Poison Control whenever, if ever, and they were amazing. It was incredible. Um, there's a lot, this again is a U.S. stat, but we use a lot of chemicals in our soaps and detergents, and they're so new. Um, that we don't ever really know the long-term effects of the chemicals until it's too late and we're dealing with the consequences. And then we have a lot of neurotoxins, which are toxins for the brain, um, carcinogens, again, cancer-causing, and then reproductive and developmental toxins or toxicants that are in polishers and specialty cleaners. So Gigi, I love that you're on this call. The, the amount of um, products that you pulled out of your mother-in-law's home was incredible when I noticed like duplicates like two or three of the same thing because I don't know how you grew up but I just grew up oh we probably need some toilet cleaner you know you're shopping you grab a toilet cleaner or we probably need some more Windex right you just grab it so I saw a lot of waste in there and a lot of a lot of danger so thank you for sharing that with us um Poison control, again, I know a lot of us on this call have children. Children under the age of five make up more than half of the poison exposures. And the U.S. poison centers, myself included, um, call almost one every 13 seconds. So there's a lot of, of exposure here to toxins that we can be aware of. And now almost all, 83% of poison exposures are unintentional, so they're mistakes, right? A kid's playing and they get a hold of the wrong bottle. They think it's candy and it goes in. But a, an alarming statistic is nearly half of teen poison exposures are actually intentional. So we're talking suicide attempts here. So we have a lot of reason, guys, um, to get these products out of our home. And um, I'm really excited to teach you how to do that today. Um, this is a story from, um, well, we kind of talked about it in the video, but we have, we have toxic exposure, but even our unborn children have toxic exposure. And um, it's, it's a big deal when a child is born with over 200 chemicals in their umbilical cord because it's just setting up their body systems um, from the get-go to already have that toxic overload, that overburden. Now our bodies are built with a built-in disposal system, which is the immune system. And like, think about your elimination system. So your liver and your, your kidneys. Um, and they are for eliminating harmful toxins. But what happens? Oh, wrong way. Um, when we have too much toxic exposure and they're absorbed at a much faster rate than our body can dispose of them, that's when we hit that tipping point. And the toxins spill over into the bloodstream and begin to do their damage. Um, so what happens, right? You might feel sick. It could cause allergies, sensitivities, and immune, um, autoimmune diseases. And as those substances build up in the body, then they cause this toxicity. And that can lead to minor and major health problems. You know, a lot of times we think about autoimmune. Um, I'm sure all of you in your world know somebody with autoimmune besides me. Um, and autoimmune is almost a gateway into a lot of other really nasty diseases. Um, just like a lot of things are that just that start with this high level of toxicity in the body. And it's not just a human problem. This is an environmental problem as well. You think about all those chemicals that um, are being produced and disposed of. Think about when you clean your, tox your, your toilet bowl, right? Those are toxins that are going down into the waterways and need to be cleansed as well. Um, or how we wash our our clothes or anything that we that we need to cleanse on a on a daily basis as we're cleaning our home it's a lot of hazardous waste 
that then we need to deal with in an appropriate way. Um, and this is a fascinating stat, this last one here, and then I promise I'm gonna get to the really good news. Um, after you are done cleaning a space with toxic cleaners, your environment is actually two to three times more toxic than when it started. Sure, it might have less germs, but in terms of toxicity and what that and, and what we're talking about today and that that toxic overload on our bodies, we are not doing ourselves any favors by adding toxicity into our home environment. So again, you know, as I teach my family, there's a lot that we cannot control, but what we bring into our home is something that we very much can control and we vote with we vote with our money. We vote with our dollars and um, or renminbi in this case, as most of you are in China. And so we can make a really conscious decision here. And here, my friends, is where the good news comes in. Um, we've got lots of options, okay? We have lots of options with our essential oils. And so we're gonna go through um, a lot today. You can have this PowerPoint, so don't feel like you've gotta like, we're gonna get into some recipes in a little bit, don't feel like you have to, you know, take screenshots and just, just go ahead and listen and kind of get the feel for what we're talking about today. Um, if you're new to oils or just used to a regular old cleaning routine, you know, you might be thinking, why would I want to clean with essential oils? So to give you a better idea of why essential oils are useful for cleaning, let's talk about the most appealing benefits of using essential oils for household cleaning. So oils are natural and safe to use around the family. This is one of the best parts, even for pets. I have my little doggy on my lap right now. Um, even for pets, it's one of the safest ways to clean your home. So one of the most appealing things about our oils for cleaning is that they come from natural sources. And when used appropriately, they can be safely used around the entire family, from the littlest of the littles. Essential oils are extracted from plant parts and carefully curated to preserve the potent properties of the oil. And when you use our oils for cleaning, you're actually relying on the natural chemical components found in the oils to provide cleansing and purifying power. So we're going right back to the source. So whether you prefer to use natural cleaning products, worry about keeping your family safe, or you just want peace of mind, Essential oils can be a wonderful cleaning solution to use around the home. The next thing that we want to look, look about with oils is that they're potent, powerful, and super effective. When essential oils are found in nature, they still contain potent and powerful cleansing properties. We're going to be talking about cleansing a lot in this class to make them useful for household cleaning. Essential oils are extracts taken from plants, which means that they're highly concentrated and extremely potent. So we can, we're gonna save a lot of money by using, by making our own essential oil products. Not only do they provide a potent aroma, but the chemical components in each oil provides powerful benefits. And because these oils are so potent, we only need to use a small amount for some serious cleaning power, okay? The next one here is essential oils provide an alternative for cleaning products with dangerous chemicals. So many of the cleaning products on the market today are, are full of powerful yet really dangerous chemicals. And while these products claim to provide effective cleansing benefits, they're often made with synthetic chemicals and questionable ingredients that may put your family at risk. Now I had a good friend who worked for Johnson & Johnson and she was getting into oils and I said, so why don't you just use lemon oil in your lemon scented cleansers? Why, why use a chemical oil? And she said, it's cheaper. And you can actually recreate the chemistry of lemon essential oil in a lab with the chemical components, with the carbons and the oxygens and the, and the um, hydrogens that smell like lemon, but it's, it's chemical, it's synthetic. Okay, so the beauty of using essential oils for cleaning is that they only contain the natural components originally found within the oil. So when you use them in proper quantities, they don't pose any risk and they can be safe to use around everything, okay? So if you have children in your home or you just wanna ensure that your family isn't being exposed to unnecessary toxins and chemicals every day, then essential oils are gonna be a great solution for you um, for cleaning. 
Next up is versatility. Um, one major benefit of using oils for cleaning is that they're so versatile. And Gigi, I think you really nailed this in your image. You had this whole big pile of cleaning products and then there were like two essential oil products. And I'm sure those two oils, those two products that you made would do, you know, 85% of the entire pile. They're so versatile. A single oil can be useful for cleaning various sections of the home or for several different cleaning tasks. Now, typically it requires that entire cupboard just to keep the entire house clean, but because essential oils are potent and effective, one oil can be used for a variety of jobs, right? From the kitchen, to the bathroom, to the air, cleaning up sticky messes, helping with laundry, and, and a whole bunch more. So oils can also be used to make your own cleaning agents, which we're gonna talk about a bit, and that allows you to tailor each oil to your personal preferences or needs. Um, and then the last bit here is they create this lovely environment in our homes. Now, truth be told, I had to get over, like growing up, the smell of Lysol. I don't know if any of you used Lysol growing up, but the smell of Lysol to me meant clean, right? The smell of bleach to me meant clean. So this took a little bit of getting used to, of getting used to for me. Of, of moving towards that more natural idea of what clean meant and trusting that my oils were actually doing the job. It took a while. Um, so I, if you're in the new stages, you know, and, and you're feeling that, you know, you're not alone. But perhaps one of the greatest appeals of cleaning with our oils is that you have the added benefit of the aroma of the oils while you clean. One of my favorite places to clean is the shower because I have my spray bottle with my tea tree and my peppermint from Muldu. And I love it because there's something about using oils in the shower. It probably disperses into the air more, but you just feel like you're in like, I don't know, an essential oil bath. And it's really beautiful. I love doing that. I have never loved mildew sprays <laughs> until, until my oils. Um, many cleaning products have a really strong or unpleasant smell because of the chemicals and because they're full of synthetic chemicals. If your nose isn't quite used to natural versus synthetic, you'll really get there. And um, yeah, when you smell a synthetic lemon, you're kind of like, oh, that doesn't smell good anymore. As you use your oils for cleaning, you'll be able to smell the lovely aroma that it emits and it can last for a couple hours too. So it's so good, you know, by using oils with uplifting, refreshing and invigorating scents, it's gonna make our homes feel extra clean. So we all have a lot to look forward to when we clean with our oils. Now let's talk a little bit about um, the science behind using oils for cleaning because we wanna make sure that they work, right? Especially now, we need to make sure that our homes are clean. So now that you're under, you understand, you know, the benefits of cleaning with the oils, you might be wondering, like, how does this actually work? And what is it that makes an essential oil useful for cleaning? So I want to discuss some of the science behind what makes oils such effective cleaning agents. Now, each oil has a unique set of chemical components that gives the oil specific benefits. For example, some oils contain chemical constituents that make it useful for improving the appearance of skin. Like um, before everyone got on, Kiara and I were talking about um, frankincense and how she's loving using frankincense for her wrinkles or scars or you know, any blemishes. That's because frankincense is, has the chemical components inside for improving the appearance of skin. Now other oils have properties that might make it useful for repelling insects, right? Like. Um, the lemon eucalyptus or purify, or supporting a restful night's sleep. You think about the lavenders and the vetivers and some of the different constituents that those two oils have. So an essential oil can have a combination of several different chemical components, which is great. And that's what gives it its diverse set of possible benefits. The beauty of our oils, guys, is that each oil has a complete completely unique chemical profile with different percentages and combinations of all kinds of chemical constituents, which is why our oils are so versatile and have so many uses. Um, now, we wanna talk about cleansing properties. There are essential oils with cleansing properties and these they have the chemical properties inside that provide cleansing properties. Now, essential oils with cleansing properties can be used as natural cleansing agents especially if they have a high percentage of the chemistry that's known to 
be beneficial for cleansing. Now remember, high quality essential oils like doTERRA are extremely potent, which means that even a small amount of cleansing essential oil can provide major benefits and goes a long way. Um, now, there are different types of cleansing properties, and so we need to make sure we're choosing the right oil. Um, the word cleansing can have different meanings. Some essential oils have chemical components that will provide cleansing benefits for the skin. Okay? So you think about the, um, um, the flower oils that we talk about with the skin, or um, like the HD Clear Blend, that has cleansing properties, tea tree has cleansing properties for the skin. Other oils may have a chemical profile that make it useful for internal cleansing, right? You think about lemon for detox or the zendocrine for internal cleansing. Now, when it comes to household cleansing, the best essential oils are those with properties that are useful for surface cleansing, okay? So we had like the skin cleansing. Oh, am I still here? My VPN just dropped. We have skin cleansing. Um, surface cleansing and internal cleansing. So we're looking for surface cleansing essential oils. So remember that each oil has a different and unique combination of chemical constituents. And some oils may have chemical components that are generally cleansing, but may not be good for surface cleansing. And other oils may have cleansing properties that are useful for surface cleansing, but the chemical components only appear in small amounts. So it's better to use an essential oil with higher percentages of chemicals that are useful for surface cleansing. And we're gonna go through a list here in a few moments. That was lots of science. All right, let's do some safety guidelines. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we're using our CPTG oils as a certified pure therapeutic grade oils. That's the doTERRA way, right? If you have any questions on that, you can go to source2u.com and you can look up you know, all of our incredible um, quality controls and you can even look up you know, the, it has to be a single oil. You know, use your batch number and you can look up the quality of an individual bottle, okay? Um, we only want to use small amounts. Small amounts go a long way. So don't forget, if you're using pure oils like doTERRA, they're high in quality, only a small amount will be necessary when cleaning the home, which is great because we get to save um, some cash when we, when, we use our, when we make our products. Especially if you plan to combine several essential oils together, you're gonna only need a small amount to reap the desired cleansing benefit. Like if you're gonna make a, um, like an all-purpose cleaner. My all-purpose cleaner has a couple drops of lemon and a couple drops of On Guard. And so you just wanna make sure that you're not um, using too much of, of either one. Um, you can always add more if necessary, but you can't take too much away. So it's particularly important to remember when making your own cleaning solutions. Um, next thing is test before cleaning. <laughs> Early on in my oil days, I was a little overzealous and somebody wrote on my wall, like one of my kids wrote on my wall, and I totally took a drop of lemon straight to the wall and I totally peeled the paint off. <laughs> I did not test the wall before cleaning. Um, and I did not dilute properly. It is some fierce stuff that we have. Um, so you wanna test when using essential oils for cleaning, you know, you're always gonna wanna test the oil or your own homemade essential oil cleaning solution on a small area. And it was like right in our living room. So if you're gonna do like a wall treatment, maybe you wanna do a wall like behind a curtain, right? Where it's not, if it messes up, you're not gonna see it all the time. Um, so choose an inconspicuous area, right? And this is maybe, if you're using um, maybe on a wood surface, fabric, granite, you know, something where um, you don't know how it's gonna maybe react. Um, maybe furniture, carpet, wood, or other areas of your home um, that you're gonna be using your cleaning agents. And then safe storage. So part of safe essential oil use in any capacity is ensuring that the oils are stored safely and responsibly. So going back to the safety we talked about in the beginning, because essential oils are so potent, young children do not understand how best to use them, and they can pose a threat to children if they try to use the oils without supervision. Many parents store regular cleaning products in hard to reach places and areas that children cannot get to in order to keep them safe from ingestion or improper exposure. So be sure to do the same things with your essential oils and homemade um, essential oil cleaning solutions. You wanna make sure that your children cannot access oils or cleaning solutions without your knowledge. 
in order to keep them safe um, from improper exposure. In addition to keeping your oils in a safe place, you also wanna put them in a dry, cool place out of, um, out of the sun to preserve the natural um, chemical properties of the oils. Um, yeah, so dark bottles away from the sun, that way it's gonna keep the, um, the integrity of the essential oil mixture as you go. You really don't need a lot of, um, I guess, raw ingredients on hand to make some really potent, powerful cleaning solutions. And so this should excite us. Um, whether you're into creating DIY cleaning solutions or you just don't wanna use, now that you know, the chemical ridden or store-bought cleaning agents, making your own solutions is a wonderful way um, to use essential oils. And I'll tell you, it is faster for me to make my own cleaning solution than it is to go right downstairs and buy it. I promise you, you save time. Essential oils can be combined with a number of household ingredients to make your own cleaning solutions. Now consider using the following ingredients. We're gonna look at these four when making your own solutions at home. White vinegar. So white vinegar contains really helpful cleansing properties. It's useful for cleaning grease and mineral deposits, but it doesn't smell good on its own. So that's where your essential oils can come in to help you kind of cut that vinegary smell after you're cleaning. Baking soda is useful for absorbing and eliminating odors and for cleaning surfaces in the home. Salt was a new one for me. Salt is known as an effective scrubbing agent, right? So think about kind of that coarseness of the salt and it's useful for cleaning stains and greasy messes. So I have um, bought some salt and if I have like, if um, my stove is greasy, I'll just sprinkle some salt over it and it helps to pick up the grease easier. And Castile soap is helpful for lifting dirt, stains, and grease. So any of these cleaning agents, guys, um, they can be combined with oils for various cleaning tasks throughout the home. And we're gonna discuss a few um, oil cleaning DIYs later on in this workshop. If you choose to make your own cleaning solutions and store them for future use, keep in mind that oil and water don't mix. So you might have to shake the cleaning solution vigorously before using it again. No worries, it's super easy. Just remember to shake it. Um, when an essential oil cleaning solution sits in the cupboard, it is possible for the oil and water to separate. Um, so be sure to just shake before you use. Okay, how much oil do we use? Okay, here's a brief guideline for you. Um, the amount of oil you add to your cleaning solution will depend on the particular job at hand, what kind of surface you plan to apply the mixture to, and how severe the mess is. Um, for example, if you're simply cleaning the surfaces around your home, you're going to need less oil compared to if you're trying to scrub away a greasy mess or like stubborn buildup. Think about like mildew buildup in your bathroom. You might have to, if you're cleaning up a buildup first, you might have to use a strongest solution. But then on a day-to-day, -day, you might be able to do that a little bit and just use the strong solution as preventative. So a strong solution would be five or less drops of essential oil to two to three cups of cleaning solution. Okay, so this might be your average day-to-day -day, um, all-purpose cleaner. And a cleaning solution might be, you know, vinegar in water sort of thing. Stronger, you'd be going for 10 to 15 drops of essential oil and five to uh, three to five cups of the cleaning solution. And here you're looking for things like stains, grease, sticky messes, and something maybe you have to scrub. And then strongest is 20 drops um, for you know difficult cleaning jobs. And keep in mind that this amount of oil will allow the scent of the essential oil to come through um, the entire home and be extre extremely potent. So maybe if you're using oregano, in that one, you know, maybe you don't want your whole house smelling like oregano. Maybe you want to keep it to your citrus oils. I don't know. Up to you. Okay, let's look at some of our favorite oils for cleaning. And these are the oils with cleansing properties. Okay. Um, this slide lists some of the best essential oils to use for cleaning based on their chemical profiles. So you can kind of go through this and, and see the ones that you have on hand and maybe make a wish list if there's something that, um, you don't have, but you want to try. Each of the essential oils on this list is a great choice to help you clean around the house. 
And again, they each have their own unique chemical profile, sensing properties in its own custom aroma. Um, so what I love about this is that you have some wood oils like Arbor Vitae, cedar wood, um, Siberian fir. You got some wood oils there. You have a resin oil, myrrh. I've never cleaned with myrrh, but I think that's a great idea. Of course, you have some of your citrus oils, your lemon, your wild orange. Um, cassia is a, is a hot oil. I love putting cinnamon bark in um, a, our surface cleaner. Cassia, we don't have in China, but we do have cinnamon bark. And there's just something so yummy about spraying the, the counters after you, know, you wipe them down a little bit. So you have lots and lots and lots of, lots of options here with some great oils for cleaning. Now doTERRA, um, there are some products that have been specifically designed to make household cleaning safe and more effective. So if like the idea of DIY is like, ah, like I can't do it, it's okay. We got your back here. Let's go through some of these. First, let's start with lemon. When it comes to cleaning powder, lemon oil is king, my friends. It is used for a wide variety of things and has so many benefits but you're definitely gonna to want to use lemon if you plan to clean your home with essential oils. Um, not only does doTERRA lemon have that refreshing, uplifting scent, but it has major cleansing properties that make it extremely useful for household cleaning. Now, you can add a drop of lemon to a cloth and wipe down wood surfaces, or add a few drops to a damp rag and wipe off your kitchen counter. That's my favorite thing. After the entire kitchen is clean at night, I'll just even go and put like two drops on the counter and then wipe it down with a, uh, with a wet rag. And then in the morning, you can still smell the lemon. It is so nice. Um, when you have sticky messes or greasy hands, you can just add that drop of lemon and go ahead and scrub sticker residue. If any of you have children that like putting stickers in inappropriate places, um, gum in hair, lemon is incredible for that. Um, and it can really be added to virtually any DIY cleaning solution for better smell and effective cleaning. Next step is Purify. Now, do you guys have your Purify on hand? Um, Purify is one of the most popular blends that doTERRA makes, especially for cleaning purposes. And so what it has in it is lemon, lime, Siberian fir, cilantro, and tea tree, and a couple others. Um, it has this refreshing aroma that you definitely are sure to love. It's great in the diffuser. It reminds me of summer and like keeping repel, like keeping bugs away. Um, in, addition, in addition to this smell, it's a great purifier for the air and for dis, um, uh, dispelling unpleasant odors. So it's great in like stinky shoes. We use that a lot um, in stinky shoes. And um, Purify can also help protect against environmental threats. So you can think like allergies or mosquitoes, bites, that sort of thing. Next up is Citrus Bliss. Um, Citrus Bliss is fabulous to incorporate into your cleaning routine. And maybe it's one that if you've been around the block a little bit, maybe you don't think about, but it combines um, wild orange, lemon, grapefruit, mandarin, and clementine. Okay, so you think about the mix of all those citruses with that lovely scent and powerful cleansing properties. So you can diffuse it in the bathroom maybe to purify the air in the bathroom, add a couple of drops to your next batch of laundry. Um, you're just gonna love, I think, the uplifting and invigorating nature of this blissful blend. That's citrus bliss that I do not have on my table right now. And then of course we have On Guard. I'm going a little bit out of order here, but I'll save the best for last, On Guard. Okay. doTERRA has created products that make cleaning with essential oils so easy and so convenient. So each product in the OnGuard product line contains the OnGuard protective blend. So I don't know anyone these days who is not, you know, sucking down OnGuard like their life depended on it. And so this one has five oils, wild orange, cinnamon bark, clove, eucalyptus, and... Rosemary, I thought of that last one. Um, so there's a couple of products that we have in the On Guard line. We have the laundry detergent, the cleaner concentrate, the foaming hand wash. We have all of those in China. Um, so the laundry detergent is interesting. It is ultra concentrated, okay? And it harnesses the power of doTERRA and natural ingredients to target and lift stains for inc incredibly clean clothes. I love this laundry detergent. 
Okay. And like we talked about earlier, you know, because they're, they're so potent, essential oils provide extreme cleansing power. One bottle of On Guard detergent is going to give you 64 loads of laundry. So it looks like a small bottle, but it is super powerful and super concentrated. Um, it's also color safe for washable fabrics. It's also free of synthetic fragrances, dyes, and toxins. So it's safe for everyone in the family. There's also a cleaner concentrate, um, which I use for floors or sometimes as a base for even my all-purpose spray. Um, this one is designed to be the ultimate cleaner, okay? It has those plant-based derivatives that we love in our oils, and it provides a non-toxic, biodegradable way to clean and to eliminate odors, odors. So remember, we talked about the environmental threat that a lot of our toxic cleaning products um, offer, and this this is not going to do that. Our cleaner concentrate is it's not going to harm the environment like that. So it's perfect from the kitchen to the bathroom, even floors. It's like, I don't know, it's my favorite cleaner ever. That took a while for our eye to get used to, not going to lie. She's like, I want Tide. And I was like, no, <laughs> not going to happen. You're not going to put Tide on my floor. Because guys, we know how powerful the soles of our feet are. And if we're cleaning with bleach, if we're cleaning with Tide, if we're cleaning with Lysol, and then you're walking along your floor, or your pets are walking along your floor, or your babies are crawling along the floor, what's happening? All those toxic chemicals are getting sucked right up into our bodies. So no, 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 no. Took a while. Took a really long time, but we're there now. We're totally there. And then the last one here is the foaming hand wash. So um, whether you have sensitivities to regular washes or not, um, the On Guard hand wash is the perfect product for kitchen and bathroom. You can use it in both. Um, it simultaneously cleans and softens hands while producing just that lovely On Guard smell. No joke, it is probably the most commented on product in my house when people come over. I love that bathroom soap. <laughs> Oh my God, I have oils everywhere. I have the diffuser running. I have oils in my food and it's the soap. I swear. It's all about the soap. Um, and my kids love it as well. So you have lots and lots and lots of options. If you are not a DIYer, my friends, don't worry about it. Just go to On Guard um, for your cleaning needs. Okay. Now um, I want to talk about some more useful ways to use oils for cleaning and a couple of simple DIYs to get you started. Okay. Um, let's see. First, we have cleansing the air and dispelling odor. So one of the best uses of our oils around the house is to help cleanse the air. Now, most of us here who are on this call live in polluted environments. Maybe not now because things are a little bit shaken up, um, but we have a really powerful tool in our homes to help cleanse the air. So not only can you use it to promote cleaning air within the home, but you can also dispel some unpleasant odors. Um, by putting the oils in the air through the diffuser. We've got a couple ways we can do that. Um, let's see, we can make a room spray. Okay, so think, um, I don't even know any, any, any terms anymore, any, any companies anymore, but a room spray, right? You have a bottle and you um, spray the room. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna need a glass spray bottle, distilled water, and some oils. Simple, right? Super simple. You're gonna combine the water with two or three of your favorite oils and maybe doing 10 to 20 drops of each oil, right? Depending on your bottle. And then you're gonna shake well and just spray liberally. Think like Febreze, yes. Think Febreze um, for your room. And you can even put that like on the bedding sheets or, or anywhere. You can put a new um, air filter in your home. Of course, that's really um, important as well. Um, there's natural air fresheners you can make. So instead of spraying commercial air fresheners, you know, with questionable ingredients around your home and they're really dangerous to these guys, right, to our pets, you can make your own natural air freshener by simply using baking soda and oils. So you're going to put like a quarter cup of baking soda in a small mason jar and then four to five to six drops of your favorite oil. So maybe you would do cassia, geranium, eucalyptus, lemon, lavender, um, wild orange maybe. And then you're gonna put a piece of fabric over the mason jar and then seal it with a rubber band. And then you, this is gonna just keep your area smelling really fresh, right? Super simple. And if it breaks, no big deal. You know, the kids can help clean it up as well. 
In fact, I use that same, I don't know if we're gonna get through it here, but I use that same baking soda with oils on it as a, um, as a pre-carpet, um, like you, you shake it onto the carpet and then you vacuum it up, it's so nice. I used to use a toxic lavender one as a kid, so now I, I have that lavender scent association and so I love using my lavender like that. You can also use essential oil potpourri Okay, so if you're a potpourri person, maybe you want to put it into your bathroom. Um, it doesn't matter. Whether you make it yourself or you buy it from the store, you can, of course, put some um, oils in to give it a powerful and pleasant aroma. So again, maybe that cinnamon bark, cassia, depending on how you're feeling, wild orange, clove, ginger, cardamom. Think about the seasons that we're in that we're getting into. There's a lot of options for dispelling odor. Cleaning surfaces. Um, next one here, there's a fabulous recipe for you. Super simple, right? Warm water, vinegar, and some oil. Put it in a spray bottle, combine it, shake it well. And guys, my favorite part is that it's perfect on everything. It's perfect on countertops, wood, glass, stainless steel, porcelain, everything. Okay, hold on one second. Winnie Hall. So sorry, literally a friend is sending a key from America and that was, we have not been able to locate the key. Sorry, that was an important call. Um, okay, so you're going to be able to do cleaning surfaces with all, like with one thing. That's why I'm saying I can make that faster than I can go downstairs and get my, um, my new toxic cleaner. Okay, kitchen, we've got lots of options in the kitchen. You, you can, of course, use the one that we just talked about. Um, but, you know, cleaning the kitchen and eliminating odors in the sink, garbage disposable, refrigerator, um, the garbage can itself. We always do a little wipe down every time we take the garbage out. Um, so many options here, guys. So many options for the kitchen. And then the bathroom. The bathroom, so toilet bowl cleaner. Um, do you dread cleaning the toilet? <laughs> I do, but um, with a little bit of help from our tea tree, we can make our toilet sparkling. So again, you're gonna use a half cup of baking soda, 10 drops of tea tree, and then a quarter cup of the white vinegar directly into the toilet bowl. So if you put the vinegar and the, and the baking soda together first, you're gonna get like that middle school volcanic eruption. So you're just gonna put it right into the bowl and then scrub away. So simple. Um, we talked a little bit about mildew. Um, tea tree for mildew in the bathroom is gonna be amazing. So if you think about tea tree, you can think about the bathroom, um, including like the spots on your skin. If you're like me and you have spots and you're gonna have a lot of power there. Um, let's see. Yep, that's good. Laundry, we talked about on guard for laundry. Um, but it's also, gosh, you got a lot of options for this too. You can put a couple drops of wild orange to dryer sheets. Don't buy the regular dryer sheets. You need to make your own or get some dryer balls. Dryer sheets are very dangerous for you. Um, so wild orange, we've been using wintergreen lately just because it's been, I don't know, that's what, that's what our family's been into. Um, you can also do some Siberian fur into the rinse cycle of your clothes. You gotta watch it, of course. Um, you have to catch the rinse cycle, but that's really nice. Um, when ironing, you can put some fa your favorite oil on a damp cloth and place it on top of the clothing. So you don't maybe want to um, put it right on the clothes that you're ironing, but a damp cloth, and then you can iron on top of it, and it makes the scent um, seep through, which is really nice. And then um, you can also do a bit of white vinegar and then four to six drops of tea tree or melaleuca 
to wash the wash cycle to naturally brighten your white clothes. So that's a really good idea too. Wood, Arborvitae is my favorite for wood. It's incredible. Um, oils can be a really gentle way to clean and rejuvenate wood furniture. Um, so you want to maybe try this one, four drops of Arborvitae, Arbor Vitae, which means the tree of life, and two drops of lemon essential oil with some fractionated coconut oil. So this one, you're not going to use water. You're going to use the FCO um, for an effective wood preservative and polish. And again, you're going to want to try an inconspicuous place first before you really go to town on that. Glass cleaner, um, again, do you, do you recognize this? You have your water, your vinegar, your water, your spray bottle, and some citrus oils. Um, I like to do my glass with um, newspaper. You can get some old newspaper if anyone has newspaper these days, um, but that's really nice. And this is really a fabulous glass cleaner. And it's an all surface cleaner, right? An all purpose cleaner. So we just go straight from the kitchen over to the glass and it works perfectly as long as you don't have too much oil in it. Sticky messes, oh my friends, lemon, um, lemon, 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 um, tree sap, sticky residue, um, things in hair, blue tack in hair, we had that about two weeks ago, a um, little bit of lemon oil. Um, anytime you have like anything super sticky on your hands, a couple drops of lemon, wash it off, it really is a beautiful, beautiful oil. Then we have carpet, like we talked about, right? We have the baking soda and some essential oils. Um, and this is, this is what I was talking about. So yes, we do cover it. You're gonna sprinkle the mixture over the carpet. I let my kids like um, get all over it, and get their feet all over it and try to like get it into the carpet a little bit more because I know it's healthy and not gonna hurt them. Um, and then you vacuum it up. You have furniture, um, furnishing, excuse me, and linen. So you've got your bedding, your linens, um, this one, what you're going to use is rubbing alcohol. So we haven't talked about rubbing alcohol yet, but it's also a really um, powerful cleansing agent. And even like regular alcohol, vodka, vodka, um, you can do that as well. And that helps actually the essential oil to um, disperse all throughout it. Um, so you've got water, rubbing alcohol, and then 15 drops of lavender. And this is going to make that Febreze for you. And you can put it on, you know, spray before bed, spray it in the morning after a, a good night's sleep to freshen up the room, spray it whenever, right? And then soap, you can even make your own soap if you have Castile soap in the house, lemon and lime and grapefruit or wild orange soap, it would be delicious, okay? And you're just gonna add your essential oils. Castile soap is typically unscented, um, but it's a nice pure soap. So that's also a fabulous option. Um, and then you can use this also as a dish soap as well. So you're gonna use this, shake it up and put one or two tablespoons in your dish water to use dish soap. You can also use it as a hand soap. Either way. Now, this is my favorite part because I love maximizing our budgets. Think about the cost savings. So these screenshots came from um, like one of the most expensive expat like online places here in Shenzhen. Um, I guess it's not one of the most expensive, it's just expat, right? So we have like $28.50 for some Tilex milder remover, um, Clorox grease and surface cleaner, almost 40 quai here, some soft scrub, 48 quai. And how do we replace all of these? We buy, we buy the expensive distilled white vinegar. You don't have to, but that was just what was there. Um, you could buy Chinese vinegar, um, except you can take that cap off and find a cap that, um, a spray cap that will go right on that bottle. And then you have your um, glass spray bottle. I think Gigi, you may have had a link for that. Um, maybe you can drop that in the big group later. So 18 quai for this, 15 quai for some baking soda. You've got your thing of lemon, right? So your, your bottle of lemon is 250 drops, which is 0.32 UN per drop, okay? And you're not really using that many drops. Um, so it makes about five products in just those two things alone. So guys, you're gonna save a lot of money and a lot of time by switching over to your, um, your own stuff. Now baking soda is good for cleaning just about everything, right? Vinegar is an excellent stain and water spot remover. So super simple, right? That's all you need to be successful here. Um, before we get to questions, I wanna pop over because I'm sure you guys are like making your wish list here. I want to pop back over to um, 
the LRP, okay? We're coming up on our time here. And every class, guys, oh, I wasn't even looking at your thing. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was missing the, sorry, I was missing the chat, just popping in on that. Any questions? You guys can pop your questions in the chat if you want. Um, okay, every class we talk about the loyalty rewards program because if you've made a wish list, right, the best way to buy that is going to be on loyalty rewards. So here's what loyalty rewards is. Every month when you purchase over 50 points of doTERRA products online, then you start to move up and you start to earn points back on your purchase. So when everyone starts the LRP, we all earn 10% back. So if you place an order for 100 points, then doTERRA the next month will give you 10 points back. Well, guys, that's almost a free lemon oil right off the bat just for one month purchase. And so for three months, you earn 10% back of whatever you purchase. And then you pop up to 15% for the next three months, all the way up to 30% back after you've been with doTERRA for a year. So this adds up to a whole bunch of free products. And I don't know about you, but my favorite price for anything is free, right? Um, so we want to make sure that we're, we are understanding the point system here. In doTERRA world, we operate in points, okay? So the, the number you need to remember is 50 points, 50, 50, 50. If you place any order of 50 points, you will earn a percentage back depending on where you are on the LRP scale, okay? We all start at 10% and we work our way up. But every month, Guys, every single month, doTERRA gives away a product, and you need to order 125 points of product before, on, or before the 15th of the month, okay? So between the 1st and the 15th, doTERRA will gift you a product if you place an LRP order of 125 points. So in China, this month, the free product happens to be a lemon oil our super powerful, potent lemon oil. So if you wanted to get that for free, you need to, we still have time, right? It's the eighth. Um, we, have, we have time, about a week now, um, for you to still get that, that free oil, that free lemon. So you're gonna go in, place an order of 125, and then, depending on where you are, you're actually gonna get points on that too. So if you're not on LRP yet, it's your first month, and you place a 125 point order, doTERRA is going to give you 10% back. So that's 12.5 points. And every order you make, guys, you get five shipping points or five points for shipping. So you would earn 17 and a half points just on that one order, which is a lot. I think the lime oil is 15 points for free. Okay, so it ends up being a lot of, of products. Now, you can always choose what you want. You're not locked into anything. And let's say that the refrigerator dies and you need to skimp a little bit this month on your wellness box because you have other priorities. That's okay. At the end of the month on the WeChat groups, you'll hear us say something like save your points. Okay, what does that mean? Save your points means let's say that you're at month 10 and you've already worked your way up, right? You're at month 10 and um, you can't place your 50 point order. That's okay. If you place any order by the end of the month, you will just stay right there at month 10, okay? But if your order, let's say your order is 49 points. If you place a 49 point order, you will save your position, but you will not move up to month 11, okay? You only move up a month at this 50 points, okay? So if this is your first time hearing the LRP, it's okay. This is, and it's like, you're like, what just happened? Um, we talk about it every week because we really want to make sure that you understand the LRP program so that you're maximizing your account. Okay. So that is our hour. We, we did it guys. Way to stay with us. Um, if you want to unmute and make a comment, I would love that. And I'm just going to shift things over now so that we can move on to the second part of the class. Go ahead and unmute. Hi, Allie. Thank you for the class. Um, something that I was thinking about when you were talking about how the lemon is so versatile and stuff like that, and not to mention it's one of doTERRA's, you know, most cost-effective products. It's like less than three Starbucks coffees. 
and you can have it to detox your whole life. So it's just <clears throat> when we put things in perspective that way and then to be able to get extra percentage off with the LRP, it's just, it's just, it's so easy. They make it so easy for us and I love it. <laughs> I know. I'm so happy. Thank you for sharing that. Nikki, did you want to comment? Me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you unmuted. I just uh, wanted to chat. Yeah. No, I think, I think this, this class, everybody needs to take it because, you know, we are at home most of our time, right? Even if you're, you know, working outside, you still spend more time working and, you know, we're breathing the air and removing toxins not only is so much better for us, but it's so much cheaper as well. Like you said, right? It's faster to do, you know, to make your own product than to go downstairs. Mm -hmm. And the experience that I had last, I mean, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, um, yeah, it really shocked me. And I actually made it, you know, I was intentional pulling out everything just so I could show my mother-in-law. Like you said, she had doubles, triples of so many things because there's just this habit, right? That you, we need the bright, colorful, blue, sh shiny Windex to clean our window. We don't, right? Yeah. So, uh, and, and what the guy was saying, you know, how many thousands of chemicals are coming into, you know, our house every day without us knowing, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, the silent killers, right? My mom has Alzheimer's and, mm. you know, it's, you know, she's, I'm sure she's a victim of that, right? With seven kids. <laughs> there was a lot of cleaning going on at home. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Hey, I am tapping you on the shoulder to teach this class next round. <laughs> yes. You don't put it. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, it's what I did because I was there and I only had a little bit of on guard left. So I didn't even use my on guard. I said, no, I can't use it in the house cleaning. So, you know, on that photo, I just used lemon and tea tree because, you know, those were new bottles that I had with me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. No, I know. No, and it's great, right? It's the, the wonderful side benefit. You finish cleaning the house and, you know, it's just nice. It feels good, mm -hmm. right? Because you're smelling lemon and tea tree the whole time or whatever oil you choose. Totally. So, yeah. Everything. This week, I, the, this, this week, the flavor of the week was, um, was uh, lemongrass. Mm -hmm. So, it's just so nice, right? It's, and that's the thing, right? You know, we are saving the environment because we're not throwing, you know, what, three, four, five bottles a month. I don't know how many a normal house uses. But uh, it's so versatile, right? Today, you know, like this week I wanted lemongrass. Next week I'm going to do, maybe I'll put cassia with orange, mm -hmm. right? So that's it's okay. nice. Thank you. And orange, Thank you. My, tea of, uh, my tea of choice these days. Yeah. So thank you, Ali. Really nice class. You're so welcome. You're teaching it next time. So <laughs> thank you for silently agreeing with me. <laughs> um, okay. So I think I'm going to pause the recording there.